Can I say that you are the good guy and you are the bad guy? No, you can't. <laughs> and he will explain you why. I will explain to you why, because uh, I think John Fusco, who, uh, whose uh, project this is, has done a lot of research. So he's created all these uh, characters and based them off of real people in history. I think uh, there are no villains or heroes in this. I think uh, everyone is, is, is very human. It's a human and, being uh, is not bad, is not yeah. good. You know. And they have their reasons for doing everything yeah. that they do. Uh, so we're hoping that, you know, uh, I can totally see, like, uh, as the series goes on, that you're going to have fan clubs for Kumla. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have fan clubs for Marco Polo. Uh, yeah. Maybe just now. But, uh, but uh, I, you know, I mean, with every actor, right, you don't see yourself as a villain. You, you know, I'm the hero in my own movie, basically. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but I have to say, I mean, the show r really does belong to, uh, you know, uh, Lorenzo, who has done an amazing job. All my life, I waited for the great adventurer to offer me a place at his side. I finally got what I wanted. The, the thing is, I mean, we, the show is about, yeah, Marco Polo, but he's not a, the good guy. He's the witness of this two worlds actually colliding together, fighting together. And, and so it's like, I'm not good, I'm just seeing these things and you will not find like, uh, he is good, he's bad, he's all, you know, strange and you don't understand. Of course, you will say, oh, I, I'm gonna stay with Kublai, but it's not so clear, you know? You have to, probably at the end of it, mm -hmm. you will get close to Marco Polo and Club Like Arm, but you know, the cool thing about this is the first season, so it's like, <laughs> I know, I mean, we're telling an untold story, that's it. The people love the Khan because he eases their pains, feels their wants, but the cause of those pains and wants is never permanently stamped out. That can breed resentment. Did you resolve such matters differently when your family held power? Blue Princess of Bayot. She's a very <clears throat> mysterious girl who lives in the, the palace. And she's, um, she's trying to be perfect all the time so as nobody would notice, you know, there's any, you know, anything wrong with her. So as that's the only way to survive in this really crazy c court, crazy world. And then, and then eventually she falls in love with Marco Polo, and then that makes her life even more complicated. Take this tragedy for what it is. Opportunity. Run. You know, my character is Coco Chin and Marco Polo's <clears throat> love interest. And then after we did this show, our show creator, John Fusco, told me, um, after 20 years um, serving for Kublai Khan, Marco Polo went back to Italy. And there's very few things he brought back. Um, one of the very few things was a piece of Coco Chin's dress. And I was really, you know, I got like goosebumps listening to that. In Kung Fu, we say, one hand lies. The other hand tells the truth. What would you say is the heart of this show, the heart of Marco Polo? Well, I think, I think it's the spirit of adventure and exploration, which I think we need very much so today. You yeah. know, I think the, the kind of imagination and, and childhood uh, fascination with space, for example, or deep sea exploration. I think we, you know, I think that deserves to be looked at again. And I think, I hope this, mo this series will, will, you know, get people interested, interested in the history again, interested in ex exploring or adventure again.